Hey spooky party people, I'm Mark Ms. Prime and this is Love at First Squeak. A dating game. Which I believe you date rats at the rat hole. Or is it just the rat hole club? I thought this was is is this actually about dating rats or about just going to a club called the rat hole? You arrive at the rat hole club. Click anywhere. Use vending machine. You take a rip off bump cola and head for the door. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Claw Bouncer's face. Wait, what? Can't you tell how I'm old enough? I'm I'm gonna risk clawing the bouncer's face. Game over. You got bounced. You just been. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Cool. Uh, how do I start over? Do I have to close the game? Don't tell me I have to close the game. Okay, good. I don't want to have to close the game. Game over. All right, so don't don't claw the bouncer's face. That should have been a given, and it was. I just wanted to see what happened. Get in line, cut the line, use vending machine. This place is tapped. I'm going home. I'm not actually one for clubbing, so fuck this. I'm out. You drink until close alone. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I thought I was going home. Who needs a date when you got self love? That's some interesting self-love. Am I a female? I mean, I guess I don't have to be. What happens if I cut the line? You aggressively shove your way to the front. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Give him the real light. No, no, that's that. Can't you tell I'm old enough? Are you on the list? Sucker punch the bouncer. I think that'll just be a game over. 20 credits. Please, I'm desperate for a connection. Can you help us out, please? Fine, lady, just get out of my face. Oh, we are a lady. You enter the dance floor, a wild chick quick appears. Chip quick. I thought that was chick quick. I like that his 8 bit voice had a southern accent. Out of there, darling. You're as pretty as a peach. Would you like to burn the midnight oil with me? <laughs> I'm allergic to fruit. What the fuck is the midnight oil lubricant? <laughs> I'm more of an eggplant, pal. Don't you think you'd... Don't think you'd like me. I play with matches. Five. Burn. I'm more of an eggplant, pal. Okay. Well, would you like a mint julep, my tulip? I'd love to show you my the backseat of my car in my dealership. Of any car. I'll, he owns a dealership. No thanks. I don't trust you with my drink, cowboy. I enjoy a good hole more than a backseat. Hmm. Hmm. That could be taken several ways. Don't even think about it. I'll slash all of those tires. How much insurance fraud you commit? There's a cow shit in the woods? Uh, no, I don't think so. Chip quick fades into the crowd as a, long, as a young female hipster says hello. I don't think cows shit in the woods. Uh, they, they tend to be in more open fields, don't they? BB. She is saying a lot. I like I like how much personality you get from those like bits of voice that are slammed together to like make the eight bits type of like almost like Animal Crossing talk, you know? My imaginary friend and I saw you from across the bar and dig your vibe. Almost want to form like a domestic partnership, you know? Totally save on rent together. So care for a dance. I'd love to see you shake your tail. I can't do this voice that well, but be warned. I put the manic in manic pixie dreams. Okay. Thanks, but I have my own nest already. Uh, what is this imaginary friend's name? Sorry, but I'm back in therapy. The, this tail isn't shaking for anyone right now. Well, today it's throw up Chuck, but tomorrow... Totes. But tomorrow, who knows? BB fail bails. She doesn't fail. Well, I guess she did kind of fail there. 
bails and suddenly a 420 aroma per permeates the space as a sto male stoner appears from the mist. <laughs> Chet Brody. <laughs> hey. I like that. This is so weird. It, it fits them so well. Chet Brody. Hey, what's up? My queen honeybee, want a hive mind? I'd love to kick up a buzz with you. Life is a series of waves, so ride the next one with me. Wait, where are we right now? I'm coming up super hard. Coming, coming up? What are you, what? Don't, don't tell me how hard you are. Honeybee, pff, biz, buzz off. So you're the lonely stoner that frees their mind at night. Now pass on the waves, watch out for sharks. Where are we? Look in the mirror. We're at the dump. <laughs> yeah. In the morning, in the afternoon, and to make me feel all right. Chet goes to smoke alone as Ruth finishes her final business call. I have no idea what, what, I don't know what her voice is. I'm glad I'm using headphones for this. I'm going to cut to the chase, the cheese. I make you a deal with lots of benefits. Do you have any interest in a week a weekly allowance selling socks? Let's go back to my place and talk about it over some kombucha. Thanks, I already have coverage. Are you 16 year old? Are you 16 years old? My bitch. I'm honestly not opposed, but not right now. I think you got this backwards, honey. I assure you mine is better. Take my card. Ruth gets another call when Melvin trips and falls in tears. Indiscernible anxious noises and heavy breathing. Hello? I'm extremely nervous. Good evening, lady. Jeez, you look like the goddess Bula from Arch Enders 42. Do you require a nightly escort for the evening? It's not me. I'm not just stereotyping him. His voice sounded like that. Are you having a stroke? My cosplay is not your fancy unless you subscribe. I guess I guess that he would need to be a fan. Ooh, you're on status poll? How much? I'll pay double. The bouncer has gifted you the VIP room key to make a connection. Pick your date. Who are you interested in inviting in for a deeper conversation? I honestly thought we were going to be dating rats. Kind of like how to full boyfriend. But guess um, more. Just decide who you're interested in inviting for a deeper con conversation. Pick your date. Just leave. We're going to leave. Bye. My God, censor. Let's go with BB. Like cha gag me with a spoon. You invite the quirky indie film dreamboat, baby. BB, baby. Want to take each other's medication to become closer? Move in with me. She is obsessed. Twelve of my roommates. My college degree sure is expensive, but completely worthless. But I'm not, mister. Life is like a movie. Am I a mister now? Even though my attention span is too short for them. No, don't don't trade medication. Why are there twelve of you? I believe you, let's run away together. Uh, what? Where'd you come from, Chip? Where did Chip come from? Okay, let's go with, uh, we chose BB, so why not? I'm going to mess up your life so hard, let's get it. You chose your date, now it's time to see things from their point of view. What? What are you gonna do now, lover? You wake up in a dingy dungeon. What a weird way, weird start to a date. Wait, did she tie you up? Why was she beating up? What's going on? What's happening? Cut the power lines. Evil glaring red eyes pierce the darkness that envelops the room. The power is out. What are you gonna do now? Just stay put, but accidentally fart. All the evil figures in the darkness attack the evil figures. 
You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. Trick or treat. Wait, did she get wrecked and now we're hanging out in her apartment? What's going on? Trick or treat. Your date screams ooh as you shock her in her mm, with a nearby electrical cable. You shock your date's groin with a cable. You escape as she screams ooh. What? Did I lose? It really feels like the only way to win this is to go home alone. Okay, what else happens? Scythe dev team, you and your games are always interesting. <laughs> Let me see if I can glean what actually just happened. Let's see it from your date's perspective. But she was beat the hell up. Do I get to see Chip beat up? I want to jump to the back room already. Okay, so we're back here. Let's bring Chet. Let's talk to Chet. Let's blaze up out of here. Chet stumbles back into the VIP room through a cloud of smoke. You like these pants? You don't need to ask, Mama. Bear? The patchwork matches the drapes. I love a bad boy Papa Bear. Hotbox, you mean like cabin bake? I'll match. You have a quick smoke while thinking things over. It's decision time who you're bringing home. Okay, Chad. Let's pick out the seeds and stems. Why do they keep getting beaten up? Now it's, now it's time to see things from their point of view. What are you going to do now, lover? Oh! If I didn't choose BB, I don't think I would have been as confused because I thought BB tied us up. This is so weird. We started off as the crazy killer person. I get it now. I understand. So that's why she was beat up. We beat the crap out of BB and now Chet. And now we're deciding how to get out of here. Let's move around the stairs. Oh, well, at least you died striking out with a 10. You go to run up the stairs, but trip on the first step, losing your balance and breaking your neck in a nasty fall. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. I like this. It's a really cool dating game. Well, I don't want to spoil the rest of the endings and other things you can do, but you should check out Love at First Squeak by Scythe Dev Team. And this is actually more of a playable promotion i guess i guess it'd be a playable promotion more than a trailer because they have something coming out called project project meganet which i kind of want to check out can i check that out this is a promotional mini game one of ten that will be releasing the lead up to our new game project meganet so it's very interesting this is this is one of ten promotions for project meganet which is their new game they're coming out with and they do a lot of interesting things like uh they developed happy simple burger farm or bar, bar farm farm and barn uh and they've done a lot of other interesting horror games that i don't if i don't have videos for them i should make them they're all really cool this looks very arg i'm very curious about their next game this is a careers page if you want to check them out links in the description i'm excited and with that, remember the world's chaos to go out and be magnanimous. I'll see y'all next time. Later.